Hello everyone, uh, Data Pioneer here uh, from the Linux Unix Tech Channel and today I wanted to take you up on my personal blog. I haven't done that yet. Um, and it is a secure website at inlinuxveritas.com. We're up on the site now. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, uh, I mean my blog rather, up there. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel of course, which is the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I have several of those, a couple of those, but um, this is my personal blog. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Uh, I, I blog about anything Linux and other things as well. So not just about Linux or Unix. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is I have an article up there. It's called Setting Up a, a Network Attached Storage Solution Running in Debian Linux. Let me go up on it. If I click on it here, uh, here's the article. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read the article for you. Um, I know you can read, but uh, I wanted to show it to you. Uh, because I haven't shown you my blog and this one relates to a couple of videos I've recently done on the Linux Unix tech channel uh, YouTube channel um, and this one's called setting up a NAS solution running in Debian Linux now I have uh, Debian Linux uh, open media vault set up in the virtual machine 6.0 uh, for test purposes a test platform and it works really well I'm able to touch it from my uh, Windows machine. I'm able to touch it also from my laptop and um, on the uh, the LAN. And so let me uh, let me read this article to you. Setting up a NAS solution running in Debian Linux. Recently, I set up a secondary network attached storage or NAS solution at home using a virtual machine rather than a bare metal PC server as a test platform. Uh, the process for setting this up is rather easy, and anyone can do it. As I stated here, this is a secondary NAS solution which, since I already have a 5 terabyte Western Digital My Cloud personal cloud which I have had in place in my home running on my LAN now for several years. I have VirtualBox 6.0 Manager running on my Windows 10 Pro main PC from which I created my virtual environment of an application called Open Media Vault. This application runs on Debian Linux and can be downloaded from Open Media Vault's download page. Uh, if you click on this link here, it'll take you out to the download page for Open Media Vault, where you can grab the ISO file and verify it. Uh, I'll leave that to you. I'll put a link out on my video for that as well, so that you have access to that. But it's uh, the link is in my article as well here. Uh, there is a link on this page to the ISO images that you can select from to get started. In my particular test case in VirtualBox 6.0 Manager, I selected the 5.0.5 image. However, if, however, you are electing to install Open Media Vault on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 device, which I highly recommend, then you will want to elect to download and install the Raspberry Pi images onto an SD card and insert it in the Pi to install and utilize your Raspberry Pi device for this purpose. The only reason I haven't done that is I, I use my Raspberry Pi for a bunch of other things such as Pi VPN. I've got a VPN. I run my own VPN service on my Raspberry Pi. I also have um, another service up there, Pihole, which is a server that manages blocking all my ads across my LAN for all my devices. So I really don't want to install Open Media Vault on that just yet because that's going to wipe all of that out. Since this is a test project for me, so I can see how Open Media Vault works and decide whether I want to use it as a, a secondary NAS solution. I chose the former rather than the latter ISO image. Rather than describe all the necessary steps that I use to download, install, and configure Open Media Vault as a VM in a VirtualBox 6.0 manager on my Windows 10 Pro platform, I will instead point you to the video that walks you through the entire process. If you have any questions about this process after watching the video, then please leave a comment below this article and I will attempt to answer any questions as I get to them. So here's the video that I have embedded in my blog on uh, inlinuxveritas.com and I will put a link to this as well under this video so that you can go up and read this article along with other articles that I have up there. Um, and please subscribe to my blog as well and I, I have lots of articles that uh, pertain to Linux and Unix and other things. I think that you will find it very helpful and educational. And so here uh, is, you can leave a comment if you subscribe to my blog uh, down here below. And here's where I will answer it. Or I will answer any questions you have on my YouTube channel. 
And so if you've enjoyed this video and if you thought this video was useful, please subscribe to my channel. It's the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Again, I'll leave a link to that um, down below this video uh, and here as well so that you have it uh, and you can find my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that and um, hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, please go out and uh, to the right of that and hit the bell. Uh, click on that so that you're uh, notified every time I upload a video to my YouTube channel. I think you'll find that my YouTube channel, Linux Unix Tech Channel, is very informative. I've got probably over 210, 220 videos now on Linux and Unix uh, material. Uh, and I think you'll find that useful. So hope this was helpful for you today and uh, enjoyed talking to you. Uh, appreciate you coming to watch the YouTube channel and uh, uh, looking at my blog as well. Please subscribe to my blog. I think you'll find that helpful. And so this has been Data Pioneer from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.